No, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, that's a great start. But Craig is fire. I oh, like Craig. I, I'm here with my first person I get to interview. It's my friend Jack Smalley. He's somebody I look up to. And you no, know, before we get jump into this for real, I just want to tell you why I chose him. He's a very smart kid at a young age. He has a brilliant mind that's setting himself up good for his future. I appreciate that, man. Channel. There's a YouTube channel. I'll put that in the below. I'll put that. I'll link that. But my first question for you is: Can we just get some background information? You know, just give us some like five quick facts about you. Five quick facts. Okay, so I'm 18 years old. I own a hockey media business. We offer like photography, videography, recruiting videos, stuff like that. I also so, day so, trade so, options. Yeah, name to it. Puck Pro Media. Puck Pro Media. Puck Pro Follow media. us on Instagram. Shameless plug, bro. Shameless plug. Shameless but, plug. Yes, sir. So I I do that. That's like my main, pretty much what takes up all my time. I also day trade, which doesn't take up as much of my time, but that's like a second priority. Like I do that in the morning and I study at night and stuff. Um, and I'm into bodybuilding. You know, it's it's fun. I like going to the gym, lifting weights, eating clean, all that kind of stuff. What, what, what's what, what's your uh? What, what's the highest you uh, you be uh, lifting? Lifted? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't really... I more so train for, like, hypertrophy, which is kind of like a dorky way of saying, like, I'm not as worried about getting strong as I am getting big. So, like, I mean, I can bench press. The last time I maxed out on bench was 275. So that's pretty good. But I don't know. I don't know well, what the, the most you... amount of weight so I have yeah. a question. So, what I'm understanding is you 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 lift. Uh, I know you lift to get. That's how you you escape and get into your get into your zone. That's how you get into start feeling like you. I know that's a big yeah. thing that you like to do when you uh, on your free time. You love the gym. So when you say that, is that like you care more about like the like the way you you're building yourself at the gym rather than like your strength? Yeah, I mean, because I'm just more into bodybuilding than powerlifting. I'm actually going to try to do my first ever bodybuilding show this summer, hopefully. So I'm, like, cutting down for that. Oh, a show? Starting. Yeah, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to step on stage. Oh, standing on business already. Yes, sir, bro. Wow, so question number two. I know you're a big reader. When did you start reading, and why did you start reading? When did I start reading and why did I start reading? I mean, start reading, I guess, like, when I was younger. Um, my mom used to make me read stuff. And it was really, like, a choice, I guess. Like, I kind of read a lot of, like, fiction stuff or, like, historical books and stuff like that. And, you know, it wasn't really a choice. But, like, choice reading? Mm -hmm. Probably... Probably last year. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if we want to go way back, this I wouldn't even consider this as reading, but when I was really young, I was into, like, animal books and the environment and stuff like that, so I would just read about, I'd read about different animals and kind of learn about them. I was I was into that, so I guess that's, like, biography. the first first reading I yep. ever did. It's a biography. I, I don't know. I feel, I feel biography. I think that's what it is. I don't know. But biography? I love animal <laughs> reading. Biology. Honestly, that's just... <laughs> that's still that's still that's still considered reading reading because a lot of people don't know a lot about animals it's it's actually surprising yeah no that's true i mean that was like yeah, the start of my reading career i guess i actually found this out apparently elephants are scared of king cobras so really like, i mean that kind of makes sense king cobras are pretty big all right so next question what is one book you can recommend that you thought gave you the most value out of the time you read? Okay, okay. I got you with this one. For just overall life skills, um, I would say How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. The book is like, it's super old. It's like, like old. But it kind of just provides a general overview on like how to communicate with people. Um, I feel like I really understood the human emotions more after that and I would just, you know, practice what I learned from the book and I approach, you know, conflict and 
situations differently than I did before because now I kind of understand. Like, it's honestly a cheat code of life because you can recognize, like, after reading that book, even just once, you can kind of recognize what's going on in another person's head um, just from what you learn from that book to just be like, okay, like, this person's trying to get attention right now or this person's frustrated with me right now or this person thinks that I'm in the wrong or something like that. And that kind of stuff, like, that kind of... Um, I guess emotional cue that you can like take from someone else that can be powerful in persuasion, um, making friends, just getting across to someone, you know, just pretty much everything. Like but a person, I think a person that, feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that book kind of just it it pretty much just teaches you how to communicate, and I think that's a very valuable thing and. The way it's kind of structured is each of the chapters has a certain point, right? And mm -hmm. it'll go into certain stories and kind of outline how the skill or point that they're making is applicable in real life, which is pretty cool because it kind of makes it easier to understand. Okay, that's that is a oh, great answer. I like that. I like that. I'm actually going about. Thank I, you. I actually just saw. I'm about to go look at that book. I just sent my mom this book. I'm interested. It's called Meditations. It's by a Roman emperor. Okay, I haven't gotten into any of that like that older. What's some of those like Roman books and like philosophy books and like all that old stuff is really good. Um, what's oh, the one book by Napoleon Hill? I think that's really old. Maybe uh, Napoleon. Oh, I'm gonna look this up real quick. Oh, Thinking Grow Rich. That's really old. Okay. Um, I know that's like a, a classic too. Yeah, 1937. That's not Roman times, but. <laughs> oh, we just lost you for a bit. We just lost you for a bit. Check one two. Check one two. Hello. Check one two. I can hear you. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I word. Well, um, well, I was about to say something I completely forgot, but books, a lot of the uh, philosophy, like something I noticed, like I watch a lot of Ben Shapiro and like a lot of his, a lot of the philosophy we have like nowadays, even like in religion, science and all that, it, it really, it's crazy how it comes from like this historic Sorry. like writings from a culture or a civilization, I would say that doesn't have the best grammar. And, yeah and translate that and that's something i really like about today's society about books it's like something that i you you're the person that got me on the books my mom tried to get me in the books for so long i just never liked it but something <laughs> i learned when i started reading books when i was like 17 18 whatever is the amount of information i gained in that book than i did in school it is bizarre yeah yeah, it's true because like a book you can kind of like narrow in like something very specific and you know i think specific books are good but i mean what i kind of said was just a general book like the dale carnegie book the reason i said it is because it's a general book i mean and you said that's my favorite book in general yeah because i think it's oh, the most it's the most applicable for everyone what? okay so it's a yeah that's that's what i asked it's a good value for for people that are new readers or even yeah, if yeah, you are sure. like, even if you aren't a new reader, something you can like learn. Definitely. I have a very, this is a very controversial question to some people, but do you have any spiritual connection to God? Spiritual connection to God, I wouldn't say so, to be honest, and that's not for any, um, any particular reason. Like I just grew up, like my parents weren't really religious when I grew up. I know a lot of religious people. Um, I mean, I think that there's, so like, to God, no, but I do like spiritually think, like, I kind of believe in manifestation and like visualization and that kind of stuff and how like, I believe in like energy, you know what I'm saying? Like more so energy, more so energy than like one singular God, but I don't know, to be honest, I can't really speak on it because I haven't, like, I've never read the Bible. I haven't done enough um education around religion to really state my opinion on it other than right now at this moment i'm not practicing a specific religion but i do believe in energy 
I, I can I agree on you with that one. There's something I have. It's weird for me because I don't read. I'm not gonna lie. I don't read the Bible. I don't go to church every Sunday. But I still have this like belief in God. But it's weird because I pray every day. And I actually that's a lie. I don't pray every day. I pray every now and then. I try to pray every day. Um. One thing I know is like. It's weird. So I want in medit so meditation. If you start meditating for 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 like a certain amount of time, you can start feeling like a spiritual connection to energy, and yeah. you can feel that. Cause like you feel it's like cleansing yourself. So no, like for sure. You, it's like cleansing yourself spiritually, and it's like it's just calming. And I had experience. This is off topic, but I had experience. Not really off topic, but I had experience where I was meditating, and I got I I'm, I'm I meditate high. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Man, that's actually I how I started I meditating too. I, I don't know if I was just high or what, but I swear to you, I had a conversation. I saw Jesus right in front of my eyes and it was trippy. But I can see, I there's, cause it's, as humans, it's weird. Cause you, you, you have like internal emotions and stuff, but you, there's also like outer body emotions and not a lot of people seem to like give that a respect that it should no I, I agree with that and the last question I have for you is what is your motivator it's my motivator um, what got you going what got me going feeling insufficient as a person to be honest like I would just say that every time that I feel like insecure about something or lose in one way like i kind of just put all that energy into winning my way and i kind of am trying to build someone i guess that is unquestionable meaning like you know i want to have money i want to have um success i want to have an impact i want to be jacked <laughs> like then he's also like cliche yeah, things, Jack. Like, I, it's kind of just like um you know to not feel insufficient so you want to do you want to do the good stuff. You want to do what's right. You want to you want to build a name for yourself. You want to you you want to build something so you're Oh, uh, cuz you're I know you your your parents give you a lot. And that that's yeah, my I parents. See. Yeah. And I think what you're giving them back is really really good for them because they see like all the work and effort they put into building who you who, who you could be and seeing how you were if you, like you know a, while, a little bit ago a few years ago when we were all just sitting on the game all night to to you having a business at 18 is incredible thank you i, I appreciate that and like i think that it is kind of crazy how fast you can like change not like change your whole life but i would say that i'm a completely different person than i was two years ago and that's just because I don't know whether it was like some freak accident that I started like getting into day trading and that led me into business and that led me into like just understanding more about myself and the world around me. But just like, I don't know, a lot has changed and I think that's a good thing. I think that anyone can kind of do that, like completely like 180 their lifestyle. Yeah. As long as we don't have a cat woody in our life. Man, that's, that's part of what, what pushed me to start it all though because I was kind of like i knew that i didn't all right well i'm gonna go off on a quick tangent real quick but i think this might be all right, go for uh, it. interesting so like i knew like my junior year like i struggled with my mental health a lot like i, I mean honestly freshman year to junior year like i struggled with my mental health and i think a lot of that was partially because like i wasn't fully satisfied and like i don't want to say like knew i was meant for something more because that sounds corny but like I just wasn't. You had more belief in yourself. You know you could. Yeah, yeah. I just doing... wasn't living up. I guess I wasn't living up to my expectations, or like I didn't feel fulfilled. And I think a lot of happiness does come from f fulfillment. But like I just kind of <sighs> a big thing was I was always like I stressed my whole junior year because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And then you know I started messing around with just like watching YouTube videos about like drop shipping and stocks and sm like all all the stuff that you see on youtube like the the internet gurus i guess and i just never really got it going until i did feel that that the kind of rabbit full circle until i did feel that pain about you know that 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 girl 
But sometimes you just need like a event like that to like click things all together. It's like a lot of people refer to it as like their fuck this moment. Like, all right, like I need to like actually switch shit up. And, you know, I think that's kind of what happened to me. That's good, though, because you have something to push you to show that bitch. Yeah. Yeah, true. I mean, that's not, I wouldn't say that's what I use for fuel anymore. Like, when I'm all angry and stuff, like, I don't just think back about her. She's, you know. Because now really you have wrong. something that, that that she doesn't. She she sees what, you, what she, you have something that, that's going for you. Because. Yeah. Something I know. You, like. This may just because I, I see it when one good one when, when I think of everything happens for a reason. I like I'm a religious person. I like I said I don't be doing all that extra stuff like going not extra but like reading the Bible, going to church every day. But I do believe God puts everybody in a situation to. I'm not trying to put God on you, but I'm saying from my personal experiences, it's like he. It's some even if it's not God, something is trying to put everybody into a situation to to realize like you you can get things going, you can really switch up how how you are living if you don't like it because it doesn't it, like you should people shouldn't be ashamed about how they're living. They should use it as like like you said a motivator. Yeah, for sure. And like interesting statistic, it's like some people. Actually, I'm totally gonna butcher this statistic. I'm not even gonna try to give you. A, give the statistic the actual statistic but like sometimes you just need it to be like worse because people like a lot of times you see people who are living like a mediocre life like well when i was you know with god not to go back to her again but when i was with her like it was like you know it was okay nothing was that bad like it was just like eh. like but like i said i didn't feel great inside like i felt insufficient and unfulfilled but then like when she left me, I was like, okay, like someone's got to change. So it's kind of why sometimes you just need it worse to get better. Like, mm -hmm. People can live mediocre, but then when people have something that kind of like, you know, really throws them around or whatever, that's that's a bad analogy. But that's when they kind of start. Mm -hmm. I agree with that because recently I just got fucked over too. And I've been like... God damn, I gotta change something for real. Mm hmm And I feel that. That's how you get all that. That's how you get that momentum. Exactly. You just gotta get... Uh, Jordan Peterson once said, you just gotta get things going. Doesn't matter when you start, as long as you start. It's true. Very but true. Thank you for your time. This was... I think yeah, this was my, I think this was a beautiful interview for my first one. I, I liked I it too. I, I, had a, I had a fun time. I think it was good. Um, did you do anyone else yet, or no? Was I the first? Oh, I no, was the first, first person, right? Yeah. You're the first. Okay. Um, Who's next on the old. list? So, I have this kid, Tyler Bird. I have my cook. Oh, friend, Tyler Bird. Dory. Tyler Bird. Yes, Tyler Bird's a cool kid. Yeah, I like one. him. I think if I could get, if I, I, I just want to get people that are trying to actually do good. I don't want to be no cringy-ass TikTok interviewer when you go ask like dumb shit like fucking ah like yeah. like those dumbass interviews i want to keep that's it authentic fair. i want to learn that's the whole point of me doing this i just want to learn more about people that's cool wait so do you like are you gonna post these on like youtube or something or, like what's what's yeah, your plan I'm with these? On youtube I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit it I'm gonna put some what are you gonna call it what, what's what's the podcast name or interview name honestly I don't know about that. I'm gonna think about that while I, I. That's going. That's a good question. That's a good question. Now you're asked. Now you're interviewing me. Whoa. Yeah. That's a good question. Dude, I just I just flipped the switch there on you. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna figure that out. I will let you know, but I'm gonna take a little bone work for you, like I always do. <laughs> Dude, that could be a a festivity. Like you just end every single podcast with a bong rip. Not for real, but. I'm gonna let you go do your thing. Have a great night. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. All right, later, Wyatt. I'll see you, man. Right, thank you. you. Peace. The workers? I just started getting worked. Oh. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes, you are. Uh, uh, no!
Look at this. A lightsaber. Mm. 